So, um, because when I say this, like people don't really understand, so I have to make a little bit like of, of, uh, explain a little bit. Like when we, we, when I say like I had the things that most people, young and older, they would like to have that I had in my life, they don't really understand because everybody has his own uh, perspective on like what is luxurious. So when we're talking about cars, Benzes, I have a few, I had a few, BMW, Porsche, Viper, Hummer, Jaguar, Cadillac, like most of all the brands, like the big brands, that's the car that I had. Like houses, condos, but not like only like the cars like normal, like the, the car, because when you buy a car, it's like to make you happy. Because, but the thing is that happiness doesn't last. So after, right after, nothing else to do. So you buy another car. Me at, at one time, like, had like two cars and I was renting out like other cars just to have another change because like I was bored. I, I had a house and I was living in hotel suites. It cost me like 10,000 a week just for hotel suites. So, the clothes, like just the clothing, like um, because like uh, when you have money, like uh, even the money like uh, change your style a little bit. Because before I was like, I, I was addressing like everybody but after that, I had to like buy suits, you know, like uh, three, like three, four thousand dollar suits, you know, and uh, I had like uh, me. I was not really the type that was going like into clubs and and um, partying. Uh, I didn't really like that. What I liked it more was really because really I was on a mission. I really liked it more, like staying home, counting money planning for other other plans you know that was the type of, of person I was I was a person that really liked like to enjoy a good meal so that was my that's what I liked it most most every day going to big restaurant like big like the biggest restaurant of the cities and eating on floors that most of you will never see like floors that, that that are not open to the public and i lived like a millionaire life for like 10 years but at the end because all that do doesn't come from from nothing you have to work a lot and at the end i was questioning myself like because when you have all that and i I didn't find the happiness like like and I'm thinking like I'm not happy even if I drink the best of the alcohol I'm not happy so I was questioning myself like really badly and um, it's then when sometime like you you go into like little like what we can call like depression because you're questioning yourself so much and um, while I was like do, doing my life, uh, I met up uh, with a woman, and um, that woman she was Muslim, and her mom, she told me that I should look up into Islam, and it's then that I started doing my own research. So I was uh, reading like books, and I read the Quran, and I was really surprised to find that in the Quran, that they were they had like the the same prophet that there was in the Bible. Uh, even at a point that I, I didn't understand, understood how Muslim will understand the Quran because in the Bible they have like the beginning of the story and the Quran just completed it. So, um, and I, I started to do my own research like even like a lot, a lot I was recent researching and um, the only problem that I end up having is like that because as a Christian you have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God 
And if you don't believe this, you go to hell. And if you believe it, you go to paradise. And I didn't want it to go to, to hell for nothing. Like, like it had to be the true religion. So I had to really make some research. And uh, alhamdulillah, um, I found that Islam was the truth. And uh, I made my shahada. So right after I took my shahada, three days after, um, my mom uh, called me and told me that uh, the police was looking for me. So I went to see my lawyers and they told me that I have to, I should give myself tin. So uh, I went and I gave myself tin, uh, but the, for the first time, it was the first time I went into jail as a Muslim. Uh, I'm here with my client Isaac, or known as Isaac Mushtakim, who is charged in Montreal with various offenses, uh, particularly fraud, forgery, the use of force. This individual has completely changed himself. He is no longer the person that he was when he was younger. Uh, he's married. He had a tough life. I mean, he grew up on the street. He grew up a, a, a life of crime and violence. That's no longer the person he is. He's married. He's a contributing member of society. He has a stable job. We have letters of recommendation from his employers. Uh, he's found religion. He's converted to Islam. And, and these are all signs of someone that has seen the process, seen that crime is not a life that he has chosen, and he has clearly indicated that he wants to be a contributing member of society and that